are set to be one of the best 10 players in the world. That's awesome, right? So I just have to ask, is there any other bass player you will always look up to? Always. Oh, absolutely. Always. I mean, I learned to play from my brother Reggie, so I'll always look up to all of my brothers. But also, Stanley Clark has always been a hero of mine. Bootsy Collins, Larry Graham, James Jamerson, Duck Dunn, Bob Babbitt, Chuck Rainey, uh, uh, Willie Weeks, Marcus Miller, Jaco Pistorius, of course. I could go on and on. You know? And those are just electric players. Course. You know, there's all kinds of bass players, you know, even Jimmy Smith playing bass on an organ, you know, is, is really influential. But then you got Ray Brown and Charles Mingus and Ron Carter. There's a lot, a whole lot. And then there's guys I, knew, I grew up with that you'll never hear about. Yeah, sure. But they also helped me learn exactly. and to they play. Exactly, influence you a lot. Absolutely. Yeah, sure, I understand. Again, like learning to talk. Yeah. You know? Exactly. You don't exactly need to learn from the best, but no, to no, no, yeah. You know, and even even learning from the best, it doesn't mean that you're going to get a well-rounded education. Because if I only learn from Stanley Clark, I may not know about bluegrass. I may not know about Latin music. I may not know about this or that. But I'd be v very well versed in what he's into, jazz and and funk and things like that. So I say learn from everyone. Yeah. And if you only pay attention to the good stuff, then you're missing half the picture. So I like to even spend time listening to music that I don't even care for, right. but I can still learn from it. What would you say to all these other bass players? I know a lot of them who are like, okay, bass is supposed to do the rhythm. You do a lot of soloing on bass, right? Yeah. What would you, what would you say to them? What would be some sort of your message sure. you know, for those people who kind of not exactly hate you, but they kind of wonder, why is he doing that on bass? Why not guitar? Yeah, um, the people that are saying that aren't qu completely listening to me. They're only listening to me when I solo. If you listen to me really, you'll realize that about 90% of the time I'm playing the bass. I'm supporting other people. Yeah. Even when you hear me solo on my records, there's still bass behind you. So I grew up again, a product of the 60s, where I learned to play the role of the instrument. And I urge every bass player mm. or every instrument doesn't matter what it is, learn that role, especially bass players. There's a lot of bass players that are learning to solo first, learning to slap and, mm -hmm. and all that first, but have no good rhythm. But remember, we are part of the rhythm section. That's what they call the bass, keys, guitar, and drums. We're the rhythm section. They never told us we were the solo section. Yeah. So learn rhythm first. Learn how to support other people. Right? My instrument was made to, it was invented so that I could support people. So I need to learn that first, and I did, and I do. But a lot of people who only listen to me when I use my thumb or solo, that's their fault, mm -hmm. right? right? You need to listen to your heroes completely. Like when I study Stanley Clark, I listen to him when someone else is soloing, not only when he's soloing. I don't fall asleep, you know, I listen to him completely. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, with the bass, I don't claim to be the best at all. Um, but I do have the complete picture of what the instrument is about.